What's going on y'all? We are going to be in New York for a while and obviously not every day is going to be an exciting adventurous day. Well, I mean you guys tune in for that daily RV life. But there, I've got some things that I want to share with y'all that are actually older. We have another YouTube channel. It's called Texas Family Camping. This is where we started out. The channel is three and a half years old now. And when we first got our RV, because when we started, we were just tent camping. And so if you want to go back and check some of those out, Texas Family Camping is still out there. We still have a bunch of videos. Some I'm very proud of and I go back and watch and enjoy because I'm like, wow, did I make that? Well, we took a two week trip to go stay with my parents in Jacksonville, Florida back in 2020. And there's some videos that are just kind of sitting there and they don't really belong with a tent camping channel. And I want to bring those back to the front. Some of them were some great videos. So what I'm going to do is I want to take y'all on a journey back in time to 2020 and hang out with us. This will be fun. If y'all been following along regularly with our channel, get to see the, our girls, especially when they're younger. This will be exciting. I'm excited to share this with y'all. I hope that y'all enjoy this as much as we do. We watch these videos regularly, regularly. Sometimes I just struggle with English so much. We watch these videos regularly because we enjoy seeing this content. And there's even, let's see if you can pick it out. There is a shot that I captured with the drone of a wave. See if you can pick this out. I still cannot believe to this day that I actually captured that video footage. And I want to share that with y'all. So here we go. Thanks for coming along with us on this little journey back to 2020. Clinch State Park is in the northeastern corner of Florida, on Amelia Island. The fort was built in 1847 to protect the entrance to the St. Mary's River. The fort saw action during the American Civil War and was used as a communications post during World War II. The first weekend of each month you can see reenactments of military life during the 1860s era.
they're asleep right now? Yep. When do they get up? Um, uh, when they hear a wow noise, like like a cannon. Yeah. All right. So this is our first Florida State Park that we've ever taken a look at. We've got the fire ring here on the ground, but they've actually got some pavers underneath of it. It's kind of cool. Good size wood picnic table. Something I noticed here that's really cool, I've never seen before. You've got these posts here with a hook on each one and a string between the two. Really cool, I'll have to look into uh, what the intended use is. I mean, I could think of lots of things like hanging up a towel after going to the beach. We've got our water right here. We've got our electric hookup. And this site has 30 amp and 20 amp. Now this, these two sites right here next to each other, you wouldn't get a very big trailer in here, that's for sure. It is kind of neat how everything has got its post around it, a railing. But when you look back here through the trees, you can see some larger sites. They got fifth wheels. Big old Class C over there. I am not seeing sewer connections though. Right across from those first two campsites we saw, we've got the dumping station right here. Got a hose, looks like you can hook it up, and you've got your drop off area. And I got about that far. Nope. Yeah, about that far away. I smell it. This is one of the nice things and neat things about this area here in Florida is all this beautiful Spanish moss. Some people might think it's creepy. I think it's beautiful. Has a romantic feel to it. So this is the river campground area for this park. We will go now and visit the next section which has the uh, beach access campground area. So down here at the end of the river campground, you've got access here to the river. Just opens up all of a sudden. So you got water. Can't get close enough to tell you if these are 50 or 30 amp. I'll have to look on a map later for that. But then right here at the end, you got the pass-through boardwalk to take you out to the Atlantic Ocean. Now this right here is the Atlantic Beach Campground. As you can see, it can accommodate some pretty good sized rigs. It's just a little tight as everybody wants to stay at the beach. I did not see any empty campgrounds for me to film, so they do have an on-the-ground fire ring and a picnic table. So let's go out here. Oh, it looks like they got a shower. Outstanding. Sorry if it's a little bouncy. My gimbal is not with me at the moment. We've got the ultimate fancy three-tiered shower. One for your feet, one for your navel, and one for your head. Unless you are this tall. <laughs> Excuse me, aren't you? You're famous. Aren't you that Texas family camping? What are you doing in Florida? You're visiting? Well, that's awesome. That's So you're just a Texas family that's out camping.
But all in all, Fort Clinch State Park, I thought was a great park. I would have liked to have seen the trails. They had a lot of trails, especially rated for biking. And people biking down the street. But then the trails for the bikes look great for like bringing a mountain bike out here. Oh, man, I would love to come back and try those out. We just didn't have enough time to come up here today and go check all that stuff out. Did you like this park? Yeah. What was your favorite thing about this state park? Uh, see, um, finding a shell. Finding a seashell? Mm-hmm. Kaylin, what was your favorite thing about this state park? Uh, how the water looks. What about the fort? Oh, that was really cool. Do you like the state park? I do. It's beautiful out here. Yeah, it is. The trees, the Spanish moss. Yep. All of this is beautiful.
really enjoy getting up early to come out for this adventure to capture the sunrise of the beach. If you look, you can see that's Tanya and Kaylin right there, center focus. Now, yo, you don't know. Oh, 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 oh! She said, oh, no. oh, what? Oh, what in the oh, world? Oh, no. Oh. I was so caught up, I didn't look at my cards. <laughs> Fine, Uno. Can you swap pants with me? <laughs> Can you believe I gave her that draw four? You're all bad, I gave you a draw four.
<laughs> there we go. Green Acres is the place for me. <laughs> Now, on the way home from Jacksonville, we stopped off. This is a Mississippi rest area slash the NASA John C. Stennis Space Museum. So this is a cool little thing that we could capture. There's a lot of parking. You can totally stop in there with your RV if you're passing through on Interstate 10 through Mississippi, Louisiana area. Great museum to check out. The girls really love that. Driving on I-10 through Mississippi, just east of the Louisiana border, see a giant rocket sitting south of the highway right by the Mississippi Welcome Center. And it's an amazing museum there at Stennis Space Center. They call it the Infinity Space Center. Definitely a fun time for the kids. Check it out. Look up top, it says category one hurricane. Testing complete. Thank y'all so much for watching our video, our flashbacks to 2020. I hope that y'all enjoyed that as much as uh, we enjoyed that. We're loving to be able to bring this back to y'all. Of course, we're gonna have a lot to show you while we're here in New York, because we are literally gonna be in New York for about two months with maybe a few days where we're gonna hike over to Vermont in the future to see some old friends. I do still have footage that I need to get caught up on as well from last year when we went down to Chattanooga and Hiawassee, Georgia and South Carolina. 
So we'll still have some catching up to do to get all of our videos up to date. But while we're here in New York, I'm hoping to get that all finalized and finished up so we're just 100% up to date going forward. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember that life happens, even a jaunt down memory lane. Don't let it stop you. Stay fresh, cheese bags.